perhaps the first ever heat engine recorded in the books of history was invented by Hero of Alexander in AD 50. His first steam engine was called Eolopile. Thomas Newcomen invents the atmospheric engine in 1712. Later on, James Watt with support of Matthew Bolton designed a more fuel-saving steam engine compared to the atmospheric engine in between 1765 to 1796. In 1824, Nicholas Leonard Sardi Carnot developed the Carnot cycle which created a theoretical heat engine and gave insight into the second law of thermodynamics. William Cullen is the first person who discovered scientific principles to be used in the creation of heating and refrigerating process. Peter von Rittinger conducted an experiment to demonstrate water vapor's latent heat used for evaporating salt brine. This helps him to understand operation of heat pump. Robert C. Weber is the first who developed ground heat pump system. Recently, heat pumps can either cooling or heating by reversing the direction of refrigerant. For both heat engine and heat pump, the second law of thermodynamics states that heat will flow naturally from a region of higher temperature to region of a lower temperature. In a full cycle, three things happen, 1, heat, high temperature, QH is added to, the heat engine, gas expands and some of the energy is used to do work, W while for heat pump, work is required. 3, QC is the heat released. First law of thermodynamics is applied which the energy is conserved. QH equals QC plus W. The measure of the efficiency of a heat engine is to measure how much of the input energy ends up doing useful work. Efficiency can be calculated by, efficiency equals work, W, divide by input heat, QH. Since work, W is equal to the input heat, QH, minus the output heat, QC. Thus, E equals QH, minus, QC, divide by, QH, also equals to 1, QC, divide by, QH. There might be other heat loss too like through friction which will reduce its efficiency. This animation shows a theoretical ideal thermodynamic cycle also known as the Carnot cycle. Step 1, the ideal gas absorbs the heat in at high temperature and expands. It does work on the surroundings. Step 2, system is thermally insulated which causes the gas to continue to expand and to do work. This causes the system to cool to a lower temperature. Step 3, surrounding does work on the gas, causes the system to lose heat. Step 4, system is thermally insulated which causes the surrounding continue to do work on the gas. This causes the temperature to rise back. Carnot engine example. Carnot efficiency is given as N equals 1 minus Tc over Th. Where Th and Tc are the absolute temperatures of the cold and hot reservoirs, respectively. Write a script that prompts user for the two reservoir temperatures in Kelvin. Check user's input and prompt the user again if the temperatures are negative. Swap the value of Th and Tc if Th is less than the Tc. The script should output the efficiency for the Carnot engine. With example of value Tc equals 273K and Th equals 373K.